we want to write the mixed number 1 and 5 sevenths as an improper fraction. To do this, the denominator stays the same, and then to determine the numerator, we multiply the denominator times the whole number, and then add the numerator. So we have 7 times 1, that's 7, plus 5 equals 12. 1 and 5 sevenths is equal to 12 sevenths. If we look at our model, we can see why this process works. Here's the model for 1 and 5 sevenths, and 1 is equivalent to 7 sevenths, and if we add 5 sevenths, you can see we have 12 sevenths. So when we multiply the denominator times the whole number, we're determining how many pieces of the fraction the whole number represents. Let's take a look at a second example. Here we want to write 3 and 1 eighth as an improper fraction. So we know it's still going to be eighths. The numerator will be 8 times 3 plus 1. 8 times 3 equals 24 plus 1 equals 25. 3 and 1 eighth is equal to 25 eighths. Again, if we look at the model for 3 and 1 eighth, notice 1 is equivalent to 8 eighths. So 3 is equivalent to 24 eighths plus 1 eighth is equal to 25 eighths.